Number 13. Complete each of the following equations by adding the missing species. So we have a 19 with an atomic mass of 14 and an atomic number of 7 coming together, so plus an alpha particle, right, which is just a helium, 4 on the top, 2 on the bottom, and that's going to morph into, we have a hydrogen here, 1 on the top, 1 on the bottom, that's a proton, plus the missing piece that we have to find out. So the first thing I'm going to do is kibosh this uh, question mark because I want to put the three pieces to the puzzle. I want to find out what the element or, you know, particle is, so the big lettering, and then the number on the top, and then the number on the bottom. Now, when you're trying to work this out, you do it in pieces, right? And the, the easiest thing to do is always take this equal sign and use it Oops, did I just give you the, did I just give you the answer? You always take this yield sign and you turn it into a equal sign. And now we do the tops and the bottoms separately. So let's look at the tops. All the top numbers, which are going to be the green guys, right? I have a 14. This is being added, literally plus. It's being added to a 4 and it has to equal this number, whatever that is, plus 1. So let's try to find out what that guy is, right? So 14 plus 4 equals whoever that x value is plus 1. 14 plus 4 is 18, right? This is 18 equals x plus 1. We could minus x on both sides, and we get x equals 17. All right, so now we know the atomic mass. The atomic mass is going to be a big 17 on the top. Now, we do the same thing for the bottoms. And I'll do all that in yellow. We have a 7 coming in plus with a 2. And this has to equal the missing link plus 1. And as you get better with this, you don't even have to write it down anymore, but I'm just, you know, showing you always step by step. So 7 plus 2 equals x, that's what we're solving for, plus 1. 7 plus 2 is a 9, so 9 equals x plus 1, and I get an 8 value here, right? Because 8 plus 1 equals 9. So I know that the bottom number is going to be an 8. But now the question is, who is the element? Well, always the lower number, the, the number on the bottom is always going to tell you who that element is, because the lower number is always the atomic number, right? The number of protons, uh, atomic number. And just know that every atom has its own unique number of protons. It has its own unique atomic number. If we look over here where all the whole numbers are, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, Every time that you increase your atomic number or decrease or change it, you get a brand new element. So all we got to do is look for number 8. And number 8, boom, right here. Number 8 is oxygen. So this one is just going to be O. That was an ugly O. That's better. And that's the answer. This is the missing link. So we got a 17 on the top, oxygen with an 8. Uh, not the most prevalent oxygen in the world because the oxygen that is the uh, most stable is oxygen 16, not 17, but hey, I mean, whatever works. So this is the answer. I hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. Um, and we opened up memberships for this new school year. We're so excited to be putting out more stuff for you guys. And we might have some extra stuff coming this semester. We'll see how it goes. Uh, so stay tuned. But if you want to become a member to the channel and help the channel out a little bit more, uh, you got tons of perks. There's four tiers. So if you want to, you can check it out. Thank you so much for considering. And I hope you have a great day. All right. Keep studying hard and good luck on those tests and quizzes. See you soon. Bye-bye.